In this lecture, we will see what are the triggers for maintenance. The learning objective over here is to summarize triggers for maintenance testing. The first point is maintenance testing is done for both planned and unplanned changes. In the last lecture, we saw some of the reasons for a software change like defect fix, changed or new requirement and environment change. When we say planned changes, we mean changed due to defect fix, feature enhancement, etc., and unplanned changes are due to an external impact on the application for example law of the land changed. Triggers for maintenance testing are of two types, modification and migration. When we say change is due to modification, it refers to planned enhancements. Examples of planned enhancements are corrective and emergency changes, changes of the operational environment, such as planned operating system or database upgrades, upgrades of commercial of the self software, and patches for defects and vulnerabilities. Next is change due to migration. And an example of it is platform change. Let's first see an example and then we will go through these points. Suppose you have a platform with version 1.0 and application with 5.6 version and there is data communication between them. Now if the platform changes from 1.0 to 2.0, this may impact data communication with the application. And to solve this, we have to change the application so that we can establish effective communication again. Let's now go through the points. We saw in the example that if the platform on which application runs changes, then the application will also undergo changes. And that's why we need operational tests of the new environment, as well as of the changed software. This also includes tests of data conversion, when data from another application will be migrated into the system being maintained. At the end of this lecture, we will see reasons for migration. I will just go through the points as they are self-explanatory. Retirement such as when an application reaches the end of its life. When an application or a system is retired, this can require testing of data migration, or archive if long data retention periods are required. Testing restores or retrieves procedures after archiving for long retention periods may also be needed. Regression testing may be needed, to ensure that any functionality that remains in service still works.